So I'm going to talk today for a little bit about the topic of rationality. And in particular, I want to talk about a certain surprising and puzzling feature of rationality. Which is that there's a certain way of reasoning, a certain kind of way of thinking, which we do all the time, and that it looks really rational to do. Like, it's always going to be rational to think like that. But the surprising thing is, it turns out that sometimes it's not. So take a look at this kind of rule. Think of it like a, a rule for reasoning. So, if it follows from some things that you already know, that some other thing, some extra thing, must be true, then you can take yourself to know that extra thing as well. For example, I woke up this morning, uh, you know, typically dazed and confused, I didn't know what day it was. Uh, so I looked at my calendar on my phone and I got to know this day was Monday. And I already knew that on Monday I was giving this talk. So putting two and two together, I went, you know, today's Monday, I'm giving that talk on Monday. Aha! Now I know that I'm giving that talk today. And so that's a hopelessly banal example, but this is something that we do all the time. And they're not always that dull. Uh, so this is a way of taking things you already know and getting to know some extra things as well. And you're probably thinking that it's, yeah, it's perfectly rational to reason like that. That's the pinnacle of rationality. So long as you're reasoning like that, you're always being rational. Uh, but actually, I think that's not the case. So sometimes reasoning like that is going to be irrational. And the easiest way to see that is with an example. So imagine you have a very important job. You're in charge of safety at a nuclear power plant. And so one part of your job is to make sure that the nuclear core doesn't overheat, cause a catastrophic meltdown. So you keep an eye on how hot the core is. You have a special sensor in the core and it's wired up to monitor in your office that you can keep an eye on. So today you can look at that and go, right, I know that it's 50 degrees right now, which is a nice low safe temperature, no worries. But then imagine that you reason like this. So yeah, you know it's 50 degrees. And you also know that if the temperature, the actual temperature is one thing, and a drone says that it's something else. So in this nuclear power plant, there are a series of automated drones, like little robots, that go about with various Gaia counters, and infrared cameras, and they keep an eye out for anything that's, that's amiss, that's not quite right, and they come back and let you know about it, so that you can look into it. Yeah. And so, you know, the, the temperature is one thing, and one of these drones comes along and tells you that it's something else, then they must, they must be wrong. So that's, if the temperature is one thing, they say it's something else, that's inaccurate. So they must be malfunctioning somehow. But then imagine that you reason, so kind of according to the previous rule, if you reason that way, so, it's 50 degrees. If the temperature is one thing and a drone says that it's something else, then that drone is just wrong and it's broken somehow. So, aha! Now I know that if a drone comes along and tells me that the temperature is something other than 50 degrees, then that drone is wrong. It's inaccurate and it's just malfunctioning somehow. Right? So this is some reasoning that you go through using that rule. And then, drone comes flying through your doors right after you finish doing this. You know, flashing lights going, danger, danger. <coughs> uh, the core is overheating. I don't know why it sounds so evil, by the way. That's an entirely accidental. It's not a Dalek plot. Um, it's danger, the core is overheating. Um, so what do you do? Well, actually, you're, you're surprisingly calm about it. Because 
you take a look at this drone and you think to yourself, well sure this drone says that the core's overheating, but look, I just worked out, like it's right up there in black and white. I know that if a drone comes along and says that, then it's inaccurate, there's just something wrong with it, that drone is broken. So I can safely ignore this drone, I'll just shut it down and leave a note on it for the engineering team to come along and fix it on the weekend. But obviously that looks really irrational. So you shouldn't just ignore what the drone says. Because you don't actually know that it's broken. It could be that your sensor's broken and the drone's fine. So you've ended up with this really irrational result. But all you've done is reason according to our rule. So this tells us the surprising fact that actually sometimes it's irrational to reason like this. Even though at first glance you would have thought, that's something you can always do. And so, I think that's an interesting result. And it opens up all kinds of further questions about why it's irrational sometimes, in a case like this, to reason that way. In fact, what it really takes to know something. And those are questions that my PhD hopes to answer. Thank you.